Uh, hi, I'm Evan Gray. Um, I'm going to be a junior this year at CVU, and I'm running for captain, obviously. <laughs> um, so just a little bit about me. Um, I've been on GMA for about 10 years, so that's more than, it's about, what, 70% of my childhood. <laughs> and, um, GMA has really become a really big part of my life. Um, since I started, I've been swimming year-round, doing long course, and training really hard and just trying to become better and kind of living in Taylor's shadow a little bit, is what people joke about, but um, just really striving to become one of the best swimmers that I can be and being one of the best people that I can be. And um, I think throughout last season, I was really challenged with like the leadership position that I was in. Um, I think I like I was one of the hardest trainers and I've been up in like one of the highest groups for a lot of my swimming career. Um, and when I don't like hit my best performance, I really struggle with it, and I struggled with it last season. Um, so I'm like I'm still learning a lot about the sport. I'm still learning a lot about myself, and I'm still I'm constantly trying to become better at what I do here. Um, I think I'm a pretty hard worker. This is just like some of my qualifications. I think I'm kind of a I'm a pretty hard worker, and I've been really dedicated to the sport for a really long time. And I think. As I said before, like I've always been trying to get better, and I've never really given up on swimming. Um, there's definitely been times where I've wanted to like try other things, but swimming has really been my main focus as um, a sport outside of school for my entire life. Um, I think I do a pretty good job leading already. Since I was what, in eighth grade, I had to train with Taylor and Merritt, so you know I've been in a I've been in a pretty hard like leading position for a long time, and I would be really excited to be team captain and finally have that role that I've wanted to be for a really long time. Um, into the next season, I know that like this summer we, or I can say for myself, I didn't have the season that I wanted to, and I think some people kind of felt the same way. So I think that's going to be a lot of motivation for this next season, and um, kind of what I want to do in my training and how I kind of want to see the team go, and I would love to be a part of leading that, and really. Um, leading the team in training and leading the team at meets to become better and really become like the team that we've always wanted to be and I think that this group as Laura said before can really do that. Um, I think we have a lot of really fast kids with a lot of talent and I think we work hard on top of it. You know every single day we're here I think this entire group I think at least comes at least five or six days a week so I mean that's a lot. It's a lot more than we've ever had before. I mean, I was where I started here. Like kids, were, some of us were training like oh, three days a week, like in the older group, and then we had like a few kids that were going to sectionals, and that was it. So I think that this group has a ton of potential, and I would really be honored to lead this group of people into like a really good championship season. Um, next season, I kind of want to take responsibility. Like um, my mom used to take kind of part of this with the swimathon. And uh, I think it's a really great event, and I think it kind of brings our team together. Um, and also, like, we get to go out into the community and our families to try to raise money for our team and try to give scholarships and try to just, like, add money to our team to make it better. And I really want to be a uh, helping hand in that over the next couple of years. Um, just kind of as a captain, I think I'm pretty good with talking with people, and I have pretty good people skills. So I'd say I'm a pretty approachable person, so if you ever had, like, a problem, um, I'm pretty good with talking to coaches and communicating like respectively while still getting your point across. Um, so I think as a captain I'd be a really good communicator, which is what I think is a really um, key part of being a captain. Um, so overall I'd just be really honored to lead this team in the next year and uh, kind of see how things play out with this really awesome group of people. Thanks. Um, so I'd like to be a captain because I'm very passionate about swimming. Swimming is something I love and spend a lot of time doing. And it'd be an honor to be a leader of the team that I care so much about. Um, I'd lead with a positive example and a positive attitude. Um, I come to seven workouts a week. Um, I'm pretty much here all the time. I'm, I, put it, I put in 100% effort at every practice. and. I like to get my teammates excited to succeed and celebrate their successes. Um, so my gift for the team would be like a small whiteboard that we could hang on deck and it decorated it and it says Swimmer of the Day. Um, Swimmer of the Day can be nominated by the captains 
and um, we can talk to the coaches about it, and the captains can announce the swimmer at the end of practice, and the person's name goes on the board. Um, on Fridays, the swimmers of the day from the past week would get to choose the lane that they want to go in on Friday race night. Um, I think that this gift shows that everyone on the team, each and every day, makes contributions to the success of our team. Um, well, like, even if you're not the fastest kid or the one that comes to the most workout, it shows that each and every day everyone does something to support our team. That's all I have. Um, hi, I'm Emma Hartswick. I'm going to be a junior at NMU. I've been swimming competitively. I think this is going to be my 12th year, and I've been swimming on GMA for about seven years. I also run cross country and track, sing in my school chorus, perform in the musical, and do a bunch of other co-curricular activities. And I think I would be a good resource to other swimmers who are trying to juggle a lot of activities. Um, uh, but mostly I think I would make a good captain because I've had the opportunity to share in a lot of success, successes and a lot of failures. Um, and I really know what that feels like. And as a captain, I would be the person that you could come to to confide in, uh, providing a shoulder to lean on or a friendly face to celebrate with. And to me, being a leader is creating an environment in which everyone can work to their potential, whether that is organizing team functions, being a sounding board for ideas, or simply gain, giving a pat on the back and a little bit of motivation. And um, leadership is a role that I'm really comfortable with. I'm nowhere near the fastest or the stronger, strongest or the one with the highest practice attendance. But um, whenever I'm here, I will be working as hard as I can for this team, and I will try and create a positive environment where everyone is comfortable. Um, and though I do a lot of other things, this team is really, really important to me, and making sure that younger and newer swimmers are welcome and that older swimmers have someone who will listen to them is really a priority for me. I know that uh, people swim for different reasons, and they have different goal meets, and I think that everyone deserves support for um, their hard work and whatever they're trying to achieve. Uh, something original that I would bring to this team is more group community service activities because um, like Galen said I think that's really important and I think it's a really fulfilling and enjoyable thing to do with people you're really close to is um, helping out people who really need it um, and I think we could do everything from like charity runs I know there's a bunch of great ones that go on like in November like around Thanksgiving time um, or uh, green up day cleanups just going around picking up trash it can actually be really fun I've done that for a number of years. Uh, we could organize a toy drive or have a team triathlon that um, someone would like sponsor you to raise money for a cause of our choice. Whatever is really inspiring to you guys. Um, I think team activities are really important um, and one thing that would make them better attended is maybe planning them like a month in advance. So maybe the first team meeting in October we could plan all our events for November and then somehow have a way of checking in on that uh, as they start coming up because I know that people love, love, love being with their teammates, um, but school time gets really, really hectic and, you know, I get that. Summers it's a lot easier to plan stuff. It's like, hey, let's go to breakfast after breakfast because I don't really have anything to do. Um, but school, it's, it's much harder to do that, but it's just as important to be with your teammates and be having a great time. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for considering me as captain, and I'm really excited to lead this team in whatever way I needed this year, whether it's as a captain or just as um, someone to talk to, someone to confide in, someone to yell at, whoever you need to be there. So thank you. Cool.